Boys. Boys. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Don't talk to me. No. Okay, group meeting right now. Kip, take the camera. James, take the camera. You guys don't both have to take the camera. You, just you said, take Kip, it. take the camera. James, take the camera. Well, this doesn't have to be like a big deal. It could just be one. Well, of why you are you making it so complicated? I've got the camera on James. We'll my mistake. No, my mistake. Allow me to explain myself. What's up, man? What's the issue? What do you need to talk to? Autumn's about? the issue. I've gotten myself a way to navigate the office and find out secret things that I wouldn't have normally You've known. You've gotten a way to navigate in the office. I think that's not what you meant. I've set up a secret camera. To not navigate. A, you still nav have that camera? I set up a camera. We knew you had a camera. And cameras don't allow you to navigate. Okay, point is, I set up a camera and don't look right, but look right. July 2018, I had hidden one of my secret cameras in the editor's bay, pointed directly at one of our employees, Autumn Farrell. She had no idea. I knew in my heart this was a good decision, and nobody disagreed. I don't know, man. This is weird. I also connected my security laptop to a TV, which everyone also agreed was a good idea. It's just weird. Did you tell her you were doing that? There's no such thing as a stupid question. Is a stupid saying. Of course there are stupid questions, and this was one of them. And of course, I didn't tell Autumn. If she knew she was being watched, she would say she doesn't want the camera there. And I, on the other hand, wanted the camera there. I just am interested in seeing what Autumn does all day now. Bruce just came over to her, gave her a hug, gave her a kiss on the forehead. It's more like a child and uh, father situation. A little bit gross. I can see that. I can see her calling him daddy. I feel they like he calls her daddy for sure. I don't think I can yeah. date someone that calls me daddy besides Alyssa. Alyssa doesn't call me that. She doesn't allow it. I myself don't get erections by being called daddy. Now, father, on the other hand. Either way, I figured I'd test the waters with our newest employee, Vicky. She was Asian. I didn't know that at first. I messaged her on Slack to secretly inform her about the camera. Vicky. She said what without an H. So don't be alarmed. Don't make any Sudden movements. Look up to you, your right. Vicky, over here! I can't see you, Kib. It's not a two way camera. Why can't you hear me? Kib, understand. God, I'm right here! Finally, Vicky noticed the camera. I could tell by the look on her face she was surprised. There was also the possibility someone was above her, trying to throw peanuts into her mouth as a challenge. I couldn't be sure. That's when Bruce, our technical but not spiritual boss, entered the editor's bay. He approached Autumn, vacuously. What do we have here? Bruce distracting Autumn. Bruce isn't her boss. A little, pervert, pervert. little pervert action going on over there. This is getting disgusting. And where is Vicky? Maybe she's in the bathroom, dude, or making food. Maybe, maybe she's in the bathroom, once again making poop. Or maybe she's on the moon. Imagine if all of a sudden Vicky's like, Sorry guys, can't come in today, I'm on the moon. And we're like, How are you calling us? This has been a, at least a two minute conversation. Do you know there was a, a thing on InfoWars about a slave colony on Mars? And then Facebook was like, yeah, this is credible news. So how many of them are on Mars? I don't know, I didn't read it, just saw it on Reddit. How many could you see on the Reddit? They didn't have a picture of it because Mars hasn't been gotten to. How many do you imagine are on Mars? If they were trying to build an entire colony, yes. it would have to be at least 100,000. So there's 100,000 people on Mars and I haven't heard about it? I'm not saying this like I think it, I'm saying it. Like you know it. Okay. Nothing was accomplished. I needed a closer look at Autumn. I needed to see her computer screen. I needed to know what she was doing all day. Vicky was impressed. I pretended to care. Oh, there she is. She's going in. What? No, Autumn, no, no. God damn you. How? Look, look, look. Oh. Someone get the door, someone get the door. They're coming, they're coming. Get what? The Autumn's off. Stop yelling, Stop yelling at me. Get the door. Stop Wait. yelling or Autumn gets in. Oh, Attack. Like that. Sick bitch. Get her, kid, get her. Sick bitch. Were you gonna hit her? I was gonna hit the shit off that bitch's tits and let her rot. <laughs> if I wasn't able to watch Autumn on security cameras, I figured the next best thing was bringing the camera over to her in person. Oh, bunch of nails. Oh, God. There's my girl. There she is. How's, how's... 
That's not what I want to see. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that was a picture of me, but it also could have been Rose McGowan. Above that picture was another, one that included ancient scripture hieroglyphics. I was, as the Turkish say, flabbergasted. I was scared. Not just for myself, but for me, too. Was this an ancient curse? Was Autumn punishing me for the security cameras? I didn't know, and I left in a hurry. Thanks, Autumn. It's been a great talk with you. Oh, hey, Alex. Oh, man. Is this package for me? No, it's for fucking Fareed. Read the room! That's all Yeah, no, that was a shark. Because I don't like well enough. Yeah. But then, like, two of the times when I was going to make Cory! What? I need your help. Sorry that I told you to read the room earlier. I meant, what do you know about curses? Like a curse you would put on somebody? Sure, yeah. I think witches can, can put curses on you, as well as uh, old gypsy women. How do you know what curse is put on you before the symptoms show up? That's a good question. Uh, I, I don't think you would know. Hey, oh, James, hey. Oh, dude. Yeah, I was talking to Tori about this. Narration's ready. I'll be on that in a sec. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, Tori, he was um, getting me out of this conversation using uh, other techniques so I wouldn't have to talk to you anymore. There's no written narration. (laughs) What was going on, I wondered. Was this a curse? Was I being cursed? I tried to reverse the curse with my own powers. Oh, who am I kidding? That could never work. That could never work. And that's when I realized I might have to confront Autumn herself about this situation. Hey, Autumn, can I come pull you out of your, your nerd den? Explosions! You just spit all the into guys? my nostril. <laughs> Dude, get wrecked. I haven't told anyone this here, but I saw something on your computer that really freaked me out. It was my face pictured... Uh, Era defining? With, That's saying a lot about Westworld. It was my face pictured along with uh, some, I don't know what kind of, Egyptian curses? They were Egyptian curses, right? They were death spells. Listen, you freak. I brought you in here for one reason and one reason only. You haven't known about anything that's really been happening, and then you act like and you... then you act... Cool. So... You're afraid of curses? Well, look, if it, if it wasn't a curse... What was it? I was just, like, trying to help you speak better, communicate better with the people around you. A death spell. It's not a death spell. Well, you know, I've always wanted to get better at communication. I know it's one of my biggest flaws as a person in general. I mean... Absolutely is. Well, if that's what you really want, I'll, I'll work harder to, to talk with you more and try to be a better friend and coworker. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate that's it. easy. Yeah. I didn't realize that it would be that easy to do that. Huh. You just talk about it. You just talk about it. You just talk about it. No, that's real. That's a motherfucking death spell, huh? No, well, it's not. Why does he keep saying that? You guys want to go play sticky poo in the bathroom? <laughs> you, guys, no, you guys want to play toast, but only I eat it? <sighs> that, was a, that was a good talk. We should play a game, like something physical and old. Ooh, you guys want to go play toast, but only I eat it? Shut up. Tell me about the death spell. <laughs> it's having a tragic attack. Do you know what's going on? No, but I can infer. Have you heard of PewDiePie? Yeah. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that was- Some wire. I'm getting very hungry. It's been approximately two days since I've seen the outside world. The heat is getting unbearable, and the AC is... The AC seems to be turn... seems to be on.